In our last video, we used the psychrometric chart to analyze the uh, weather in our uh, climate. And now what we're going to do is look at uh, wind and do kind of a little wind analysis. Uh, overall, we could make an impact with natural ventilation. So let's see when it is that we might be able to do that um, if we just don't, if it's not forced air. So um, normally it will open up all hours, all months. And so if we look at all hours and all months, that's what it would look like. And then let's go in here and look at it seasonally like we did the psychrometric chart. So I'm going to go to selected hours and by hours. Uh, so if we look at 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., that's not what we want. Let's go, since this is an office building, once again, we're going to go 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And we'll look at the hours when the building is going to be occupied. And then we'll go to selected months. And we'll do what we did before. We'll go March through May right here. Uh, so this is what March through May looks like. Doesn't look very promising. Okay, most of the wind is coming out of the south and southeast, and most of it is relatively hot. If we look at March alone, let's go down here to one month and look at March alone. Um, March. So March, March is not too bad. We've actually got some uh, uh, temperature that we can use. Uh, if we look at April, April's of course it's getting a little bit hotter. Uh, it's going to be a little harder to use in in April, and then May uh, probably not going to get any uh, natural ventilation uh, it, during the day. Now once again you have to consider the type of building you're doing. This is a residence. We'd probably want to look at evening hours uh, since most people, uh, at least Monday through Friday, are going to be gone during this time period. Uh, we might want to look at. Uh, like I said, the, the evening hours and because and, we're going to sleep, right? We're going to be in the building. But this is an, we're looking at an office building right now. So the office building, we're just going to look during the day itself. And so I'm going to save that. Go back to selected all months. Done my little analysis, file, print, print to PNG, and then go to my site, give it a logical name, and save it. And so let's look at the other seasons. So that was spring. Let's look at summer, June to July. And as we can expect, it's as red as it can be. Uh, if we look at it by month, June, uh, no, you know, so the, the really cooling months out of the year, we're not going to get any, any real cooling at all. Okay, so summer we can pretty much, you know, forget that. And then let's look at fall, September to November, and we might have some opportunity here. Uh, we could, if we go by month, we can see, as you would expect, here's September, uh, not much chance in September. So September, August, July, and June, those four months aren't going to be very good months for uh, natural ventilation, but October uh, a lot of southerly winds, and they're pretty hot, so October may not be very good either. It's going to be November, of course, we're starting to really cool off, and so there's some real opportunity here in November. So it appears, uh, let's go, and of course winter is probably going to be pretty good, and the temperatures there are still relatively warm sometimes. So we're going to go in here to December and look at January. I mean, February, excuse me. And once again, we can look at that month by month if we wanted to. Uh, so December, uh, of course, plenty of wind uh, most of the time. And also uh, temperature is good. So if we need cooling during that time, we can do it. And then, of course, January and February are probably going to be pretty much the same. And they are. Okay. And of course, with most of the wind uh, coming out of the north, as it often does in the winter in this hemisphere. So we've got a better f a feel. Uh, it, it, it seems that June, well, May, June, July, uh, August, and September, those five months out of the year, we aren't going to get any natural ventilation. And we can probably 
get some a little bit in the swing months uh, it, it, during the day. Now you got to remember this is only looking at the day. If we wanted to look residentially, we could probably find that uh, during the night. Well, let's just take a look real quick, just so you can see the difference. Let's go to uh, selected months and let's go to back to May. Okay. And if we look at May and we start, let's start at say 7 p.m. and go to 7 in the morning, just the opposite of what were those 12 hours. Okay. You can see in May the temperature might get down low enough at night that we can actually use that. And if we're even tighter, let's go say to like 10 p.m., uh, it even proves even more. Okay. So there is opportunity in the evening, it's just that during the day there's not any opportunity uh, in those months. So once again, you got to analyze it not just by, uh, you know, the month and the year, but you also need to analyze it by use of the building, the time and use of the building, so that you can get a picture of uh, whenever the building is going to be occupied. <laughs> okay. With that done then, I would have captured each one of those uh, four seasons and any one month that I felt was real, re really representative, I might have captured that month by itself. Uh, so I'd have that as kind of memory to put in my program. And so the next thing we're going to cover is daylighting. And so we're going to go out and look at do we have the illumination levels to do daylighting.